What's up guys, this is Juan from Cosmic Fury and on this video I'll be talking about this guy right here. Okay, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I uh, did a last video on uh, on on any kind of figure so because uh, Overwatch the game has consumed my life. I had a pre-order on um, on a Boba Fett Hot Toys uh, six scale one six scale figure, and finally the figure has dropped in Singapore, so which is uh, really really nice. So I got a phone call recently, but I was so busy with other stuff, uh, with live stuff. So finally I got it and it's in my house and yes I did a pre-check uh, while I was at the shop you know so it was unboxed during uh, uh, when I was at the shop everything's working fine so but right now I'm just gonna go through in detail of what it is uh, featured inside the box with the figure itself so let's get to it alright this is the whole box this is the front side of the box the side the side the side and the side so right now we're gonna open it up oh here's the back if you can see all right i'm gonna open this up haha that is the underside of the front cover i'm gonna put this on side and this is what it looks like we have the front cover of it if you can see there you go uh -huh. basic stuff here Okay, so this is the main body um, compartment here. We're gonna put it on the side. Alright, for the back side of the box, this is the inside of how it looks like. Plain, as per most of the Star Wars line, at least from Hot Toys. Okay, now we're gonna move to the clamshell. Front cover of the clamshell. So for the figure itself, uh, there's a few uh, uh, extra clamshells for the other accessories. First, we're gonna get to this one, which has um, uh, Boba Fett's uh, signature rifle and his other accessories. We're gonna put it on the side first. Um, this holds uh, all the extra hands, you know, the extra pegs and all that stuff. So this is the extra clamshell cover. And uh, so inside the box right now, the um, manual is taped to it so right now I don't think there's any um, difficult components in Boba Fett right now so I, I don't want to like cut it up but if there is a need to for me to read the instructions I will open it up later on so we shall see all right as you can see this is the figure itself all right let's break it down no, I mean I'm not gonna break the figure down but let's see what's inside of all the accessories all right, as per usual, the opening requires the pen knife, the best tool for it. All right, for this, I don't think I need any um, pen knife, right? so I can just basically open it up. So we'll see how this one goes. All right, I'm gonna open it up. Aha! Okay, it's a little imbalanced. So, all right, um. I can't remember what this is supposed to be, but um, I'm sure it's part of the gun. I, I can't remember what that. Um, okay, that's one. And then there's like a... I believe this is supposed to be some kind of um, tool. But I don't remember Boba Fett actually using this, but yeah, it's part of the accessories. So there's that. And um, I still have no clue what part of the accessory this is. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is one of his uh, knives that's attached to his one of his uh, utility belts. Uh, for the hardcore Boba Fett fans, um, probably you let me know in the comments what exactly these tools are because I have no idea what these are. They're just part of the accessories, just part of the gun, I think. So this is the signature rifle, which um, a lot of people know, or at least know of Star Wars, and if they knew uh, knew about Boba Fett, this is the rifle that he carries on with him all the time so yeah this is it so in terms of accessories i don't know if they are supposed to link to each other i doubt so i don't remember having all this but anyway these are the weapon accessories that comes with boba fett 
Now we are going to move on to the extra hands. Uh, but before that, we have two extra packs. Uh, it's, it's per normal right now. Every extra pack that comes with uh, Hot Toy figures is like either two or three, and that's about it. So if you've lost a pack, you pretty much gotta have you know you have to search high and low for extras. So yeah, two extra packs. All right, let's go to the hands. This is the relax um, clamping kind of hand. If you can see that. Uh, yeah, the relax hands. Um, what is that? This is a relax left hand and a relax trigger right hand. The ones like that. So um, a relax palm holding left hand. There's another one. Um, an open palm right hand and a relaxed open palm left hand so in terms of total hands as uh, extras and the ones on the body the body has two then plus five that's seven hands in total for Boba Fett alright for the lung, to the second last accessories his infamous jetpack so right now, um, I don't know if you can see this, right now, um, most of Sideshow figures, they are magnetized inside, but for this one, he has um, kind of like a hook kind of feature on the back, so I have not really um, gone really thorough on the figure itself, so we shall see whether this is, I don't think it's magnetized, I'm sure it's just a hook thing, but we'll see how it functions if it's actually working on it as part of the design. And for the main body itself, the main figure. Boba Fett. Right, for the last piece of accessory before we actually do get to Boba Fett is the stand itself. Chang chang. Okay. So yeah, there is two versions of um, the, the ones that is released by Hot Toys themselves. Um, the one I got, obviously this one is the standard edition, standard version. The other version is that it's the exclusive one where um, the base is made of, you know, the, the design of the Salek pit. So, okay, price-wise, definitely there's a difference because for me, um, I'm running out of space. If you can see the stuff behind, I'm definitely running out of space. So I did not opt to get the pre-order for the special edition. So I got the standard one, which works just as well. This is the base itself which has the Boba Fett right now. It's not in focus. Whatever, yeah. The, so yeah, this is Boba Fett's um, stand and then there's that. Let's see if I can attach this. Okay, I have no clue how to fix this, but I'll, I'll see if I can manage. This is a little bit difficult than I thought. This is not as easy as to fix on this. Be right back. Okay, uh, so, like I said, whenever in doubt, just consult the manual and I eventually open up the manual. But there is a confusion here. According to the manual, especially for the stand part which I'm having issues with, the, the picture here shows that if you were to see the stand, you see there's like the middle, the front and the back so what it shows in the picture right now is it's showing the back can be attached with the, the crotch stand but because of the design um, basically the width of the stand right here and the back part right now that this is a little bit longer so it can't really go in so common sense would show it that the middle part is where this, the the crotch under crotch stand can fit so it looks like this so if I'm wrong somebody down in the comments please let me know that if I'm dumb enough to not know that there is a way to put the this crotch stand into the back part because the width of it is pretty long so I can't seem to get it inside but you can obviously do it in the middle and you can actually adjust back and forth so if there's a design flaw or I'm too dumb to figure out what it is that makes it able to attach itself together please let me know down in the comments but as far as stand goes this is how it looks like and obviously it can extend 
the crotch height. So that's about it. And as far as detachable goes, the nameplate can actually be detached out, but I'm not gonna like do it right now. So yeah, this is the last accessory which I wanna talk about for Boba Fett. Now so finally, finally I can get to the figure itself. Let's do it. Mm hmm Sorry. Uh okay. So let's take out all the plastics. A little dissection. Let's do it. Don't worry. I'm a professional. <gasps> Almost got it. Almost got it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty confident with this one. So, God damn it, it worked. Okay, okay, okay. Finally got all most of the plastics out. Um, okay, we are left with the wrist. Uh, not much of a trouble there. We took it out on the left hand. Right now, I'm gonna move on the right hand, and voila! All plastics are off at least. Finally, the last one, and yeah, official, official, official plastic wrappings, wrappings, wrappings are off the figure. Okay, finally, we are gonna go to the figure itself, which is man. First impressions of me when I'm um, inspecting the figure at the shop, Kylo Ren feel. The first time I ever unboxed the thing, and the feeling of it is exactly the same because when I went through all the, the um, so-called the joints and uh, articulation points and all that it made me reminisce the feeling of when I was doing the Kylo Ren figure which which was um, an awesome awesome moment and Boba Fett I would be like happy to say it's the same feeling this figure is fucking dope it is it is I'm gonna just gonna make him stand like right here I know the angle kind of sucks but right now he's standing on his own perfectly fine without any stand yes so let's go go through the figure right now because um, this guy is like so dope in terms of design okay I have no um, like previous figures of other Boba Fett's from Sideshow for the longest time, I nearly wanted to get um, the previous versions from Sideshow. They had two Boba Fett releases and one white prototype version. So those, I nearly got those but then I like told myself like because I was late into the game. So I was like, should I wait it out? Should I not? And then Hot Toys did the announcement and he was going to release this guy. I was like, okay, if it's not now, when? So I finally jumped the gun, I did a pre-order on this guy and man was it worth it because this guy is packing not a lot of accessories but just look at it man, he's fucking Boba Fett. Um, a fan of his would definitely, I mean if you're a, a figure collector and you're a fan of Star Wars and you're a fan of him, you should definitely get him especially from the offerings from Hot Toys right now. I've seen and handled the Sideshow versions before, there's nothing wrong with those figures. It's just that most of the, the designs, I mean Hot Toys and Sideshow has done collaborations before in terms of design so there's nothing really really new. So I would say that this figure itself is still a little bit updated version of those uh, pre um, previous releases. A guy who hasn't had a Boba Fett of his own, this guy is dope seriously dope okay let's talk about the articulation itself we have articulation in the neck right here the neck um, not a lot of um, front and back that there, there is space but there's not a lot because of the helmet design so there is articulation in the shoulders and as you can see articulation in the elbow which is I definitely love I was Fearful that it might go through the the stormtrooper phase or the you know the first order guys, the those elbows on those figures had a very bad design to it, so it was really difficult to do this. So 
that is why I have a reminiscence of Kylo Ren because this is exactly what Kylo Ren can do and if you can see the elbow can go way back same goes for the other hand okay in terms of um, there is waist articulation but because of the belt and the, the suit itself so it's a little bit hard to feel for it but there is inside if you were actually like really really inspect it and um, there are hip joints right here there are joints in the knees and you can actually there's quite a good amount of control in the ankle joints so which is really nice in terms of the boots it's, it's not really flat but it's um, flat enough for it to stand without the, the under crotch stand which is really nice so alright let's talk about the design of it in terms of weathering pretty decent it's not 3A level of weathering but there, there is weathering on this figure which is really nice so at least it gives you the notion that Boba Fett has been through places and at least he's been through shit more or less so there are dents um, in some parts here and helmet and for some reason at crotch I don't know why I don't know whether that's movie accurate or not but don't don't quote on me on that um, so yeah this is the back part the cape um, I like the cape because um, there is weathering and there is a tiny wire which you can adjust so see you see that yeah that is super super dope um, yeah another thing I wanted to get to is that um, I want to compare a certain design between him and Django Fett from Sideshow Collectibles I get that it's part of the, the costume that they have this um, if, if you can see that uh, for one of the gauntlets on the right hand okay for the ones in Sideshow Django Fett is sporting a plastic design the ones that Hot Toys are doing is kind of like a rope kind of mesh thing I don't know what's the, the accurate term mm. for for the material but the thing about Hot Toys is that it's not easily broken like they actually melded or, or molded the design the rope I mean the plastic they melted it together so the thing is like stuck so it's not so easily detachable the ones in Sideshow the Django fat figure was so bad that I mean I took it out of the box I didn't really do anything I just bended the elbow I wasn't really even fiddling with the tubes it just broke off that was the most annoying thing ever like right out of the box just figuring it out what's the articulation I like and the tube just gave way like what the fuck so I gotta hand it to Hot Toys they actually did a better job on on this one obviously you have to be a little bit more gentle with these figures because um, they're pretty um, fragile in some sense but for Hot Toys it's a very much more better design it's not easily broken so um, credits to Hot Toys for figuring that one out so Sideshow please you know fix on it I mean yeah Django Fett didn't have the best suit design but at least make the figures last a little bit longer please um, what else can I talk about this figure right now okay right now the, this guy is in Singapore right now he's like going all over the shops they are pretty much um, most of the local toy stores so price range on this guy is between 250 to 280 that's the standard version of it for the exclusive version with the Salek Pit um, stand um, the one that, that can actually make him like fly around kind of thing that's about like 300 ish or so um, so yeah depending on the seller so if you were to get a standard version that's above way way above um, 280 or 290 I would say that's a little bit expensive but anything um, below 250 is kind of a steal so anybody selling that and the condition is good just I think go for it in terms of design articulation wise this guy is fucking awesome if you like Kylo Ren and you don't have a Boba Fett figure and you like Kylo Ren definitely get this guy because the application is way off the hooks in terms of weathering it's there it's not super super 3A level but it's decent enough the most fragile part I would say is part of the helmet the visor as per all um, 6 scale figures um, clone troopers um, previous Boba Fett versions the always always be careful with this part of the visor because this is 
like attached to the helmet and it's just like one hand so try not to like handle it from the tip but more on this end here you see that yeah so always take care of that because I always find this part the most fragile out of every um, entire part of the figure what else I can say about this guy I mean the design I think it's folks ladder at the back here but um, it's put it in such a way that it's not really moving so much so it's pretty good so yeah price wise I guess this guy is worth it at the price range of 250 to 280 that's the standard price these days for toys anything less than that it's kind of like a finding a rare Pokemon um, in terms of accessories uh, this guy doesn't come a lot so unfortunately I mean even Boba Fett in, in the movie he doesn't he has a standard set of weapon and um, and tools and basically that's it it doesn't come with that much more uh, so I mean the packaging kind of like justifies or at least movie accurate to, to the movie itself so yeah one last thing before I go I did mention about the backpack so it is not magnetized at all so the back here we have kind of like a um, kind of like a carabiner or anything let me see if I can fix this thing finally I got the backpack or the jetpack behind him okay this is the part where I think I appreciate the magnetized version from Sideshow a little bit more compared to this one I mean this is not as easy as it looks you know because they don't have a magnetized version uh, in, in, in the design compared to Sideshow but they have this kind of like a carabiner hook kind of thing like you hook it on but to get the jackpack to be hooked into that carabiner slot is not easy so a little bit of guesswork and a little bit of like like tweaking this and that I mean if you have a tweezer is um, probably you could but if you have small fingers like I do probably you would but if you have like giant hands it will be something quite difficult to to get the jackpack onto the hook itself but yeah, uh, in terms of design, this is um, pretty much how would you like if, if you want to have a Boba Fett figure. Uh, getting the Hot Toys version is uh, currently the best option, I think, right now. But obviously, if you can get a cheaper price, uh, probably Sideshow version is is uh, is a better one, better for your for your money. It depends on on your budget. If you have the money to spend, get this guy. This is right now the best version. I know it doesn't say a lot for a guy who has the only version of Boba Fett but I guess you're gonna get your money's worth out of this guy. So um, so yeah, if you're, if you're uh, like a fan of Star Wars and you wanna get a new figure to be in your collection, this is the guy to, to get it for. So yeah, uh, pretty much that's it. There's not a lot I can talk about right now for the figure itself. So later on I'm trying to go move on with some pictures and like photo taking. I'm sure this guy is very photogenic and yeah the helmet also again it's it's pretty dope it's pretty white so it makes him like you know like really tough looking so yeah other than that i guess like uh yeah the figure is out now it's moving uh all across singapore right now and all your local toy stores so get it man if you're a fan of it go get it if you have the money spent between 250 to 80 go get it so yeah uh pretty much that's it so yeah, I'm one from Cosmic Fury. Thanks for watching this video. And if it's cool, like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers, man.